The exact details of the proposed changes remain confidential as the Law Reform and Development Commission itself is awaiting on the Cabinet to pronounce itself. But the changes are in the areas of who the disadvantaged person is, the private sector enterprises to be affected, as well as the ownership pillar, all that culminated as a result of nationwide consultations. The other area um, that we thought is important for uh, our political leaders to understand was the question of what did it mean to be NIF compliant? In other words, uh, we have, um, there's been a lot of controversy around the ownership pillar and the question of 25 divestment and so forth. We envisage that there will be some changes in that area. And the focus is not only on one pillar, but on the six pillars that we've identified, most notable of which, of course, is ownership equity, management control and employment creation, issues around um, 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 corporate social responsibility, uh, education and training, skills development, your value addition, and, and of course, uh, market access. The issue now for us as the technical team, which consists of, of the Law Reform and Development Commission and the Office of the Prime Minister, is that we just want principal approval of some of the proposals that we've made. President Hagegen Gop indicated last week that he would want to see the bill being tabled in Parliament before the end of the year. And while the Law Reform and Development Commission is appealing for patience among stakeholders, particularly ordinary Namibians, it too is under pressure. That means that we will have to do the revision uh, once Cabinet has made his decision, we intend to then also have a, a, another a a fully-fledged media briefing and we intend to, I mean, of course, through both the Office of the Prime Minister and the Office of the President, uh, through their press secretary. And then also we intend to then hopefully have it sub subjected to a Cabinet Committee on legislation for consideration. We have a legislative drafter on our commission and we hope that we can find a way of getting our drafter to start working on, on the final text. The commission will hold further consultations with stakeholders on the revised bill. Blanche Corres, NBC News, Ventuk.